keep a spiritual diary and the practice of self-analysis. Self-examination at night. Write down how many good deeds you did, what mistakes you made during the course of the day. The practice of introspection and self-analysis requires patience, perseverance, tenacity, application, will, determination, subtle intellect, and courage. Look inside. The spiritual student must acquire the gift of looking inside himself. At the end of each day, order a parade with the incidents, thoughts, words, actions, emotions, and feelings of the day. Go away from them and realize your greeting, imputing your thoughts and actions impartially. Be a silent observer from inside and evaluate the motives, intentions, and purposes behind your thoughts, words, and actions. Each thought, word, or action must emerge with the seal of its own recognition. Put your attention like a sentry in the high watchman tower inside the intellect and seek the inner mind uninterrupted. The practice of introspection consists of three steps. Detection, denial, and replacement. First, look inside. Try to discover weaknesses, failures, and anomalies that happen during the day. This is known as detection. The moment you detect your weaknesses and are really embarrassed by them, at that moment these wrong characteristics die. This is known as negation. However, this is... In the wake of each victory comes the costly task of constructive peace. As soon as a weakness is seized and defeated, it replaces with its opposite virtue and its personality. This is known as substitution. In complete introspection, detect, deny, replace him, grow, and be happy. At first, attempts at self-analysis can prove very unsatisfactory. Your early day analysis report can be read as the narration of the ideal life lived by some god. However, continue the practice. Within a week, it will be revealed that, after all, your life is by no means the life of a god. This is true even in the case of the best aspirants. Such obscure reports should in no way discourage it. The darker, the greater your effort to readjust your values and to redirect your currents of thought. Correct thinking is a habit that can be cultivated, therefore. Systematically, we must train and discipline the mind to correct thinking and the right and diligent activity. The replacement of positive thoughts and the flood of mind with creative ideas are methods by which we can clean the floor of the mind. Stunning as it is now with the filth of incomplete thoughts and decadent ideas. Having recognized a thought as negative or wrong. Do not waste time upholshing to look clean and attractive. But reject it immediately. The power of correct thinking expels all false thoughts and induces healthy conceptions. Increasing effective dynamism in the seeker. Ultimately, the mind must be tamed and subdued. Constant vigilance and fin about our own thoughts and actions is the price that we are compelled to pay for the highest achievements and better achievements in life. Patient self-improvement with all enthusiasm in a cheerful climate of healthy optimism is the secret action plan of all great men. Therefore, practice introspection. Start today. The tomorrow you are waiting may never arrive. One who thus begins the practice of his personality rehabilitation with diligent daily introspection is assured against all future melancholy feelings of futility and failure. Therefore, introspect daily. Detect diligently. Deny mercilessly. Replace wisely. Grow firmly and be happy. Free and immortal.